what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing these, the Bass Dash Waders, and I will get into all their specs and all that good stuff in just a second. But real quick, before I do, be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date for all the latest hunting videos. Now, back to the review. So these are the Bass Dash Bear Camo waders, neoprene waders. You can find them on the Bass Dash website. I will put a link to that down below in the description if you guys want to check these out. They are going for $180, well $179.99, so $180 roughly uh, on there. And I'll just go through all the details here to start with. So we'll start at the top. Two shoulder straps, both snap like so and so. They've got thin neoprene pads, which I like the thin pads. The thick, I've had thicker ones, not a big fan. And honestly, I like the snaps on, especially on the right side. I don't care about the left side. I don't shoot on the left side, but on the right side, you know, I could put my gun up there. I could probably shoot, no problem. But, you know, if it snags up just a little bit, that's gonna throw my gun off. So I like that snap. I don't like the strap on my shoulder when I'm shooting. So that's really nice. I like when they allow you to unhook it on that side. I've had a set of waders where you couldn't. Um, so I like that. You got the two carabiner hooks. So if you run decoys on a Texas rig, perfect for that right there. Put those on that. It's got a dry pouch on the inside. A lot of waders do nowadays. Pretty big. Take it, put your phone in just like so. And I've got a pretty big phone, but there you go. Just fits in just like so. Tuck it in just like that. Moving down, you've got a pouch on the outside. You know, put your snacks, put your calls, put whatever you want in it in there. And then you've got typical hand holders and there is a uh, water release right there just oh, a hole <laughs> there's a hole there to let the water out if you get any water you know get up that high and then you've got a built-in shell belt built-in shell belt uh, holds nine rounds and that probably hold 20 gauge I don't know if I'd try 28 gauge it'd probably fall out if I you know uh, bent over but not a lot of waiters plan for 28 gauges and then probably my favorite part of these is the hip belt these are neoprene like I said and a lot of neoprene waders, or at least all the ones I've had in the past, don't have hip belts. And I love this built-in hip belt. It's adjustable and it's a solid fabric. It's not like elastic. I've had some with elastic and those just stretch and they don't keep their shape and they, you know, over time they just keep stretching out and I, I just don't like elastic hip belts. So this one, I love the fabric that it's made out of. And then moving back down further, talk about the neoprene itself. It's 4.3 millimeters. So Decently thick, um, <laughs> kind of toasty sitting inside right now. It's, you know, it's July, so it's, uh, it's a little warm sitting in neoprene waders inside. Uh, but they've got padded knees, most waders do as well. And then this camel pattern, I actually hadn't ever seen this camel pattern until I got these, and it is Dissolve Veil Bare Camo. It's kind of a, a digital looking camo pattern, and it blends up perfectly in cattails, flooded corn, uh, flooded marsh grass, or just random marsh grass. I mean, it's kind of yellow, brownish colors, and it's got some darker colors in there mixed in to look like some, you know, maybe some water or whatever. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it, just for the fact that it's kind of a digital camo is how I would best explain it. I don't really care for the digital looking camos. I like my stuff to have leaves and sticks and, you know, stuff on it like that. But that's just my own personal preference. Uh, that really doesn't affect the waders, you know, at all. And then finally, moving all the way down to the bottom is the boots, 600 gram Thinsulate boots. So not, not the thickest. Um, you know, I, I prefer 12 to 1600 typically, just where I hunt and how late I hunt. You know, we can go all the way into February for geese, possibly, you know, might be outside uh, sitting, sitting on a riverbank, honestly running through moving water and it can get pretty chilly so I like having thicker boots especially for my late season waders so with the boots they also fit fairly close to what your shoe size is they're a little big which I like in my waders because then you can put on a couple extra layers of socks if it's gonna be really cold once again you know the 600 gram thinsulate so you might want to put on some more socks if you're wearing these out in the cold but they do fit pretty true these are a great great mid-season waiter I would say to even early season might try them out during teal season honestly I got these 
mid-season last year and you know I took them out several times um, and then I took them out walleye fishing as well and they work you know no leaks so far and they, they work in a pinch they're they're decently warm and <laughs> I'm not saying that just because it's summer right now and I'm sweating my butt off in them but uh, no, they are, they are decently warm, so if you hunt anywhere where, you know, it gets down to freezing or so, or, uh, you know, highs in the 40s, that'd be about perfect for them. You could probably take them a little lower, and actually, you can take them a lot lower if you want to layer up, but about mid-season is where I would say they really shine. They might be a tad toasty for early season or uh, teal hunting, but who knows? I mean, they're, they're a cheaper set of waders. Like I said, they, they're about $180. Uh, but perfect for beginners if you're looking to start and get into duck hunting or maybe this is like your second year And you're looking to upgrade your waders These aren't bad and I say that as someone who's not a big neoprene fan anymore. I started out on neoprene myself um, Tried breathables and I absolutely loved them, but you know from a comfortability standpoint, they're not near as good as breathables I mean, it's just really hard to <laughs> to compete against the breathables, but they are they are one of the more comfortable sets of neoprenes that I've ever owned. But other than that, there's really not a lot more to them. They're they're comfortable waders, they're fairly cheap. But for a beginning duck hunter or someone who only goes out a few times a year, these would be perfect waders for them. Even, you know, these are my backup waders. Like I said, I, I like the breathables, but they're not, not a bad set of waders. And if you guys wanna check them out, once again, I'll put the link in the description below to the Bass Dash website. These are the Bass Dash. Bear Camo Neoprene Waders. They also have a breathable version out there. I haven't tried them, but if you, know, if, if you prefer the breathables like I do, you can check those out as well. But these really aren't a bad set of waders. And if you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll get to them. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe once again, and we'll catch you out there. See ya.